What's up you guys? So I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to bring you guys my 13th place Henderson Regional Minerva, totally Minerva uh, deck profile. Was so close to topping. Uh, me and a couple of my boys, we finished X2. One of our guys, my boy Brandon Wong, shout out to you bro. His tiebreakers were higher. He was the only X2 to make it. He squeezed in at 8th place. The rest of us, unfortunately, we just, you know, we had to ride out the rest of the rankings. Uh, I ended up getting 13th. Uh, like I said, I finished X2. I'm just going to show you guys the deck, then explain um, uh, tournament report, everything. And yeah, so yeah, I played the Bay. I'll explain everything, um, you know, after the deck profile. Uh, so it hasn't changed that much. Since I played it in the regional flight, but uh, I did make some changes because of the um, because of what I felt the meta was going to be playing. Also, because of DDDs, I changed the side deck up a little bit. So yeah, so three Raiden, three Wolf, two Lila. That's all the only Light Swords I play. I wouldn't play anymore. Uh, this ratio I feel is perfect. Raiden is your main tuner, your main miller. If you start with it, Wolf, you always want to hit it off something, and Lila is your back row popper. Plus, it combos with Gigabyte. I wouldn't change that at all. I still played my exact same water package, three Tin Goldfish. 3 Gigabyte, and 2 Chocolate Magician Girl. Chocolate Magician Girl actually got her effect off this weekend. People do not read cards, and they attack into it. I brought up Trick Clown. Their monster got destroyed. Trick Clown comes out at 1600 because of the effect, So because you're using it through this effect, not its own effect. So it was crazy because then the Trick Clown destroyed a monster, and then it got to float. It was insane. People don't know what this card does. So this water package was perfect. I was making Toad and Bahamut all day. Uh, of course, best monster in the deck, Fairy Tale Snow. Without this card, the deck would just not be as good as it is. This card got me out of so many situations. It was it was just insane. This card was nuts. Uh, and then like the rest of the support cards, uh, two Trick Clown, two Photon Thrasher, two Maxi. All these cards are necessary. You want multiple Trick Clowns. You want them to float. You want to just get your plays off. I made uh, Trapeze Magician a lot, so this card was really good. Starter card, Maxi. You need in every single deck. There's no excuses anymore. Uh, On to the spells, basic stuff. Three Potted Desires, card's amazing. Three Instant Fusion, we can reuse Norden because of Toad, so uh, I've used Instant Fusion two or three times in the game, it's amazing. Plus we played Desires, we don't want to banish all three copies. Uh, three Solar Recharge, two Charge, one Soul Charge, one Rota, one Foolish, all very basic stuff, exactly the same stuff I ran last time. The only difference this time, I did not run uh, the Phantom Knight Brigadine Trap and I did not main the Twin Twisters, instead I decided to play just three traps. I decided to play three D Barrier in the main deck. Card was insane, won me endless games. Uh, won me games I shouldn't have won. This card is literally the trap of the format. Like I said, this card is going to define next format, and I feel like even right now, it is one of the most decisive cards in the game. So yeah, so uh, D Barrier was absolutely amazing in the main deck. I, 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 was, I always have a hard time against Metal Foes. I only lost to one Metal Foes. The other two I beat because of this card. It was just insane. So really, really like this card. So yeah, so that's the main deck. It's 42 cards. Uh, like I said, those were the changes from the main deck. Two Twisters cut and the Brigadine cut to play uh, three D-Barriers in the main deck. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the extra deck. Of course, we played one bay. Uh, card was insane. A uh, highlight of the day. I was playing against a Mermail player in game three, and my hand was kind of weak. Going first, I started with two maxi, which I know sounds kind of eh, but you know, it happened. I drew two maxi, and then I had Photon Thrasher and Snow, so I just went with Photon Thrasher, summoned Snow, overlay Minerva, and I milled Raiden, Wolf, Trick Clown, and it, it was the dream. So, uh, this card, you know, is worth its weight in gold. Probably my favorite card in the game. Uh, one Norden, of course, uh, for the for the you know the instant fusion. For the synchros, I did play three. I played Scarlight, Omega, Crimson Blader. Omega never came up at all, shockingly. Scarlight or a Dragon Archfiend. This card won me round one when I probably should have lost. It won me the first game. Blue, I played against Blue Eyes, of course. I, I lost like almost every die roll, you guys. Like You don't even know. So going second, this deck can still play. But I literally made a Scarlight or a Dragon Archfiend. I debarriered him when he brought out the Galaxy Soldiers calling XYZs. He ran over some of my monsters. Eventually, I got to a point where I made a Scarlight, blew up his entire field, and then just basically he could not come back. And then I just, you know, I, I won the next turn. So this card was insane. Use it against Metal Foes to win. This card, I would never cut this card. I don't know why I wasn't playing it before. This card is amazing. It steals so many games. I won against a Metal Foe player the last round. My boy, shout out to my boy Matt Gibson. I literally attacked him with everything and then made Scarlight and blew up the last of the monsters for games. So this card was insane. Blader, I got it off once, running over a Blue Eyes player, uh, same Blue Eyes player. Um, it connected, it was good, you know, it prevented him from, you know, bringing out anything the next turn. He still got over it. He, I think he Rageki did or something, but it was still the fact that he couldn't do anything to it uh, the, fall, the, the, the turn outside of Rageki. So this card was really good. I wouldn't cut it. It's also for ABC. Then, of course, the MVP package, Totem Bahamut, self-explanatory. I made these more than I made Minerva. A lot of people thought I was just playing like some crazy water deck because a lot of my hands were just water things, so I just made Totem Bahamut all day. Cards were great. 
Uh, one Utopia, one Utopia Lightning. Never came up, but you guys know why they're there. Uh, one Emerald, same thing, didn't come up, but is there for Recycle. One Dweller made it uh, because of the mills I hit off of uh, Minerva going th going first in Game 3 against Mermail. I had Minerva Dweller with Snow. It was amazing. Uh, then one card Gagoran. This card was insane all weekend. I don't know why I didn't play it before. So good against Paleozoic. So good against Metal Foes. This with Anti-Spell. Just insane. Uh, one Castell. Use it a lot. Spin things away. One Trapeze. This little rare got in so much. Just OTKing people. I OTKed so many people because of this card. People forget this card lets anything attack twice. So I always made sure I had enough for games. So this card was insane. And then one King of the Feral Imps. Just search out Gigabyte. People wanted to strike this card. I'm like, that's fine. I'm just trying to get Gigabyte. You want to strike it? That's fine by me. Take 15. So this card was great. Love it. Uh, definitely recommend if you're playing the Water Package. You have to play this card. So yeah, so that was it for the extra deck. Um, and now just to the side deck, of course, you guys already know, woo, uh, side deck, two Lava Golem, I sided two Lava Golem because I hate losing the Dark Law Toad, DDDs were a thing, I felt like this is a good way to answer them, you just, you know, you just overlay on top of whatever, you know, you just get rid of whatever they're using, I could have used Kaijus, I felt Lava Golem was just better handling two monsters at once, so I think it was really good, so I definitely would play it going forward. Two Denko Rekka, I played against the Paleozoic. I won game one, game two. Uh, he just he struck me two times in a row. Then eventually I brought out Denko, and that was game. So Denko, insane card. Uh, I played three system down. Um, I want to give a shout out. I forgot to give a shout out to, of course, my boy, one of my favorite players, the Michael Temez and Roger Newman. Uh, they've been helping me with this deck since back in Anaheim, giving me advice. And Tamez basically said, he looked at my side deck and said, I don't know why you're not maxing out on this in Anti-Spell. You're a mill deck. You're a Pot of Desires deck. If you banish multiple copies, you can't come back. So I'm glad I upped this to three. Um, I put the two Twin Twisters from the main deck into the side deck. They would only come in against Metal Foes and Back Row deck. So it was good. And then I played the Board Wipes, Double Dark Hole, Raigeki. I use this against Metal Foes and other decks because I feel my deck has the potential to OTK. So by being able to literally, uh, you know, Board Wipe them, I can just come back. So really like these cards. And then, of course, three Anti-Spell. Game three against my boy Matt Gibson, I literally opened the God Field of Kargagoron, Minerva, Bahamut, Toad, and I think King of the Feral Labs with double anti-spell set. It, it was just insane. So yeah, side deck performed really well all weekend. Very happy with it. We'll probably change it up since DDDs are starting to get more, you know, coverage. Shout out to Blair. I know he won his uh, ARG thing with it, so I know people are going to be playing it. So yeah, so that was uh, that was the deck uh, side and extra. Now I'm just going to get into my turning report real quick. So like I said, it was... It was eight rounds of Swiss. There was about almost 200 players there. So round one, I played against Blue Eyes. I won that 2-0. Uh, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend just did its thing. Uh, round two, I played against Metal Foes. Ended up winning game one. And one thing I've noticed with this deck, if you can win a game one against Metal Foes, you're in really good shape. Because even if you lose game two, going first game three, you can open Anti-Spell. And that's exactly what happened. Round three, I played my boy, uh, Andrew. Unfortunately, I lost uh, in game three against Metal Foes. He had the Max C, and I was in a situation where I either pushed through Max C and create a board, or I don't push New Max C, and he basically kills me doing what Metal Foes do best, so I ended up losing that one, 2-1. Round 4, I played against Paleozoics, I 2-0'd it. Round 5, I played against what was Performer Pile Kaijus, I wasn't sure what it was, but I, you know, I just brought up a Toad and just did stuff, and he, he couldn't get around it, so I ended up winning that, 2-0. Round 6, I played against Mermail, I won that, 2-1. Uh, uh, like I said, game three, Minerva, the mills were insane. Uh, round seven, I got to play one of my favorite players, Vincent Pagula from Vegas. I ended up getting 2 0 by him. He destroyed me with ABCs. I mean, he played around everything. He played brilliantly, so I can't even say anything about that. Can't even be mad. So, yeah, so I took that loss. And then round eight, I played against Metal Foes, my boy Matt Gibson, and I ended up winning that 2-1. So that is the tournament report, you guys. I really like this deck. I'm going to Columbus, Ohio Regionals uh, this next weekend, and I'm probably going to keep playing this deck. I feel that the deck's just really good. Um, you know, I really like Lightshorn, and I just love Minerva and, like, what it does, you know, for this deck. I love the water package. I feel without the water package, the deck is just not as strong. Being able to, you know, Fairytale Snow is the whole deck, but being able to play this water package that literally says you can play Toad and Bahamut, I think is just insane. So, I highly recommend anyone that picks up this deck, even if you don't have a Minerva, you can still play this deck. And play it with the Toad package because the deck is just literally insane. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that like button. Like I said, this year, I'm a player first, Yu YouTuber second. So we're just trying to get those credentials, you guys. Because I feel my channel means nothing if I can't actually perform as a player for you guys. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.